All right, 60 second summary of the new Raging Bull DX deck. I just, I, I don't know. All the pieces are there to be good, but it feels like such a glass cannon. Raging Bolt does 70 damage for each energy you discard from your Pokemon. If you go second, that's up to a 210 damage attack right off rip with Professor Sada. Then, once they get down to four prizes, you use Sandy Shock CX to recover energy from the discard pile, allowing you to loop big attacks. But if they clap your Sandy Cheeks, which will be bare unless you put an Ancient Booster on them, they can absolutely decimate you. Still, if everything goes right, it can take big KOs turn after turn. If you want to whack off with your Raging Bolt, use Palkia V-Star to get 3 energy and play whenever you want. A Lost Zone build to flood the field with Mirage Date, or even Gardevoir EX if you've recently hit your head. Okay, this is good. This is good. I really don't want to put the Squawkabilly down, but we're going to have such a good turn 1 that I feel like it's necessary. Okay, alright. Well... <laughs> Well, the game decided it hates me. All right, so let's uh, let's get a let's get a raging bolt going. Let's get a. We want the energy in the discard pile. We're gonna trekking shoes. Yes, we want that in the hand. And then I think we go. <sighs> I want the radiant Greninja in my hand, but I also or in the in the field of play, but I also don't. Uh, but there is a Collapse Stadium in here, I'm fairly certain. Yes, there is a Collapse Stadium. So I think we go for the Radiant Greninja. And then... We Ultra Ball away that and that. We get a Sandy Shocks. And then we're pretty much set up and we just need to get Collapse Stadium and then we're fine. So this is... You know, I really underestimated going for... Oh, okay, well this is garbage. This is gar... <laughs> we got the Collapse Stadium! That's cool. Um, I guess I should draw and hope we draw into an energy. Hey, never punish, baby. Never punish. Get out of here, Squawkabilly. All right, so we go. Uh, do I attach to the Coridon? No, I think we attach to the Raging Bolt. It is possible that they do 140 damage to my Coridon, but there's no way they do 140 damage to my Coridon. Literally impossible. And yeah, like there even with the Gengar, your matchup against Stall is still bad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like even if you have a card that allows you to switch every single turn with the baby Gengar, it doesn't matter, you still have a bad matchup against Stall. Because if they just hit your rare candies, what do you do? You can't do anything. The Gengar is useless. And in before, okay, anti-snowman, if they get it, you're banned. Definitely banned. Uh, and strategic, they, yeah, shiny ray, don't get your hopes up for expanded in PDCGL, like, for the calendar year. Because it's the same message they had last year. They said when rotation hit last year, that expanded beta will remain the same for the 2023 season. And the 2023 season, you know, ended in the summer. And then we, and then they just gave us the same message now. So they gave us the, the exact same message this year that they gave us last year. I had that hope last year. So I was like, oh yeah, for sure. They're definitely going to, uh, they're going to give it to us later. There's no way they're going to let Expanded flounder this, this far. No, of course not. They're not going to do that to us. Why would they be like that? Okay, we got the Sada. Can I take a KO this turn of someone meaningful? Uh, yes, I can. I can, no, I can only do 210, so we have to get an energy off of this or else I'm screwed. Uh, so we go lightning, fighting. Wait and hope, strategic. The, the H word is still banned. We have still banned, we have banned the H word here. Okay, so... Do I dis- I mean, the hand does kind of suck. It's just, I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm gonna lose so much off of this, but I don't really have a choice. The hand is terrible. This deck is terrible. Um, okay, so we go... Yeah, we just Ultra Ball. I don't think there's anything that I need to get rid of. Raging Bolt, Sandy Shocks. Um... If the deck plays Ordinary Rod, I'll get rid of Raging... Yeah, we'll get rid of Raging Bolt. The deck does play an Ordinary Rod, so we'll get rid of that guy. Wait and pray. <laughs> there you go. 
I'll, I'll allow that one. Yes, the H word is banned. You can't have hope when it comes to PDCGL because it's... We've had hope for expanded for 26 months and we're still waiting on, on it, so yeah. Alright, again, this is a major problem with the handy deck. I told you this. The Iron Hands deck struggles. <laughs> this is what I experienced yesterday with the deck. It struggles mightily. Okay, so... Oh, we want that Earthen Vessel. Let's Trek and Shoes again. Uh, we don't want that because we do want to saw to that energy. Ooh, okay. And then we go energy. And then I have two in there. So then we Earthen Vessel. So in the battle of Raging Bolt versus Iron Hands, who wins? Uh, whoever doesn't brick the hardest. <laughs> who wins this matchup? Well, who doesn't brick the hardest? That's who wins. Uh, okay, we got we got Pokestop. I want to keep the Collapse Stadium in play because that annoys them more than anything. And then we have more Sada. Okay, so I need to do... I need to get rid of four energy. So that should be all four on the bench Pokemon. All glory to the Hypno-Toad. All right, so just all the energy on the bench Pokemon. But this is it. This is exactly what happened during yesterday's stream with Iron Hands. It's like... There's no way to draw cards with the deck. You can attach gift energy and hope they knock you out, but that's about it. It was Iron Hands free. Okay, Anti Snowman, that deserves a pin. Yeah, like they're playing Morty's Conviction. They're playing Morty's Conviction. And like that just doesn't feel like a good card. Wait, it's a draw four? Congratulations, that's one better than having pneumonia. Right? It just feels so bad. And you play quad catchers, getting rid of the bosses, and another catcher is not great. But as soon as they take a knockout in this matchup at all, I win the game. And they have... Wait, why do they have five energy on a iron... <laughs> why do they have five energy on an iron hand? Seems a bit sus. Okay, well, we're gonna go Sada. Uh, this, this might get a little hectic here in a second. Might get a little hectic here, so let's, uh, let's attach. I have to get rid of four again. I can switch. I think we switch card. No, because we want them to take a knockout. <laughs> That's the thing with this deck. We want them to take a knockout. So I'll go three energy, and then uh, let's get rid of the fighting. So it's just, this is, this is what's so tough about Iron Hands is you just get into these hands, pun intended, where you got nothing going on. So at least Raging Bolt has Burst Roar, which is a very underrated attack, because this dude has 300 hit points. And if you are if you have a terrible hand like I've had, you know, twice this game already, you just Burst Roar, discard your hand, draw six cards, and you're just, you're out of the, you're out of a problem. And like, what are they going to do to win? Knock out my Sandy Cheeks? Okay, well, they actually could do that, and that'd be very bad. But, um, I can... Huh. What do we do here? I think maybe we do go for a Burst Roar. Right? We do go for a Burst Roar if I don't get it. But there should be... Two... Oh, there's only one saw to... Oh, no, I think, I think that's... I think that's game, right? Because that's... <laughs> I think that's game. Yeah, that's for That's game. Easy. Easy. So, yes, again, Raging Bolt will have these moments where it's like, yeah, Raging Bolt's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. And then you'll you'll be like, oh, wow, this, ga this deck worked. I took big KOs. Iron Hands never stood a chance. And then you'll go play another game and it's like, no, it's, uh, no, this, this deck is trash. You know, you, you'll, you'll never find your Sadas. You know, you'll prize your Palpat, or you'll prize your Super Rod, or they'll clap your Sandy Cheeks. But when it wins, it is so much fun. So, yeah, Edward, it, that's... You, you summed it up right there. It's crazy that we have to wait for Expanded. That should have been a day one game mode. But what they're doing is they're probably, like people have said, they're probably waiting for Expanded to fully rotate. So then Expanded can rotate, and then they can say, Oh, see? 
See, we we plan. We 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 don't have to do it. You know, we were right in waiting. Uh, okay, so we want the Greninja. We want to not suck any butts right now. Starting Squawkabilly is a okay. Let's let's get that. Okay, and then we go. I don't think I use the Earthen Vessel because I want to save as much energy. And strategic, it's all it's all conjecture right now. Nothing is set in stone, but we're all assuming that Expanded will rotate to... Oh my god. To, uh, like, Sun and Moon on. But that's just all conjecture. Objecture, Your Honor. Alright, and then we go... Concealed cards. Would really like to switch that Squawk ability out of the active. Really want to switch... Uh, Coridon? No. Really would have liked to have switched that Squawkabilly out of there. Uh, you know, only we saw half of my deck on turn one. So this is how they can easily win. But they are going to have to knock out somebody else. Right? They'll take three prizes on the Squawkabilly, probably turn one. But they have to knock out somebody else to win the game. And that's where their deck might struggle because they're going to go up three prizes. So maybe I should have saved the Coridon, because the Coridon would stop them from using Counter Catcher. So what would happen is they would knock out the Squawkabilly, go to three prizes, and then I could feed them the Coridon, and then they get down to one prize, and then they would never activate Counter Catcher. So that was one strategy I could have used, is go with the Coridon. But if they find bosses, then, you know, it just, it gets, it gets really crazy. And strategic, the I've had this pop up a couple times in the past few days. The X and Y and black and white cards have been in Pokemon TCG Live since day one. They've been in the game for 25 months. And yeah, as Shiny Ray said, they have released patch notes in the past where they addressed X and Y cards. And Fat Cats, all right, but you have to use a new deck. Uh, thank you, Steel Ghost. So the cards are in there. They did release patch notes where they fixed older cards, which I don't think we were supposed to see. You know, they deleted it. I did I did save it for posterity. So it was kind of funny. They were just like, oh no, wait, we didn't we didn't mean to do that. You you didn't you didn't see anything. But yes, it is very weird that 26 months later, no expanded, and it's it's not gonna happen this season. So they haven't fully forgotten about it then? Well, th that was like a year and a half ago. And that was like the one time it happened. But they've pretty much forgotten about it. And to Edward's point, standard is so broken, right? How many game-breaking glitches happen every day in standard just with the, the zero cards in deck glitch, the, the select glitch, you know, just other random things that don't work properly that take six months to fix. So standard needs to get into a playable state for it to for it to make any. Ooh, maybe they're not playing the hand. They're playing this guy, which does kind of make sense because it does 220. But if I can take a KO here, then they're really they're, they kind of just lose. Okay, um, what's the best course of action? I want to take a knockout of a two-prizer, so I should poke a gear. <laughs> God, this, this deck. This deck. Okay, we need to... Uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Let's go get some things. We have four. We have three catchers. We have three Pokemon catchers and one Prime catcher. We have a Pokestop, we have a Professor Sada's Vitality, we have a Manual Attachment, we have everything we need to get the KO on... Uh, I guess I'd probably go for the Miraidon. Watch, watch me uh, whiff it. Watch me whiff the KO here. Okay, let's go Pokemon Catcher. Just want to get that Miraidon. Yep, gonna whiff that one. Can, can we go 0 for 2? Pokemon Catcher only works 25% of the time. Hey, we got there. All right, so we knock out the mirror ride on, and then we switch card into Raging Butt. There's nothing I want off the Pokestop, so it really only helped them. So we go Bellowing Thunder. I have to, I have to discard all the energy. Ooh, that was an oopsie. I probably should have gone for the Mew then. 
Yeah, no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. If you're in this exact same position as I am right now in your games, you go for the Mew. Because the Mew only requires three energy to, to get rid of. And then the Mew also uh, helps them draw cards. So the Mew also helps them draw cards. I have to get rid of one less energy to activate it. My thinking it was that I was afraid of the Maridon EX because that can one-shot a Raging Bolt because of Cyber Drive. They put, you know, three Iron Crowns and the Future Booster and then my Ancient Booster doesn't matter. But I should have realized that I'm taking two prizes. So if they knock out my Raging Bolt with their Miraidon next turn, that's fine because I can easily take two more prize cards and two more prize cards and I win the prize trade. So I shouldn't have done what I did. That was an oopsie. And Shiny Ray, most of the XY cards worked. Well, that was like, that was 21 months ago. Because it was the Pokemon Go launch where they accidentally made every single card standard legal. So just that's too far back. You know, past pilot was a different man. You know, he couldn't fit more than three toes in his mouth at a time. Now it's, uh, we're in double digits. All right, so they're going to probably Arvin for a Nest Ball and a Future Booster, if I had to guess. But who are they going to attack with? Because they already Reboot Potted, so are they just going to go for an Iron Leaves? They could go Iron... Okay, those were not the... Those were not the two cards I was expecting. I was not expecting Techno Radar and Experience Share. Uh, actually, no, that does make sense, because they'll go for Iron Leaves. They'll... Probably have a counter catcher. I don't I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. I was expecting like a counter catcher and a way Yeah, because they can use iron leaves, but That's not gonna be a knockout and now they have an iron leaves that can't do anything on back-to-back -back turns So This is where my oopsie comes into play is I would have that spare energy so yes Pilot make an oopsie in his pants, but, you know, that, that's what uh, paper towels were made for. I think they're about to realize that Raging Bolt doesn't have a weakness. <laughs> Raging Bolt? Oh no, 240! I was like, Raging Bolt doesn't have a weakness, they can't get there, they can't get there. Okay, so we're fine then. Because now I win the prize trade. See, I am never punished. I am never punished unless I pay for it. Those are the rules. You know, you, won't, you only need safe words sometimes all right so let's uh let's do this we win the prize trade we uh we clap some cheeks the only thing that could go wrong is if i don't find an energy and that's again where this deck kind of falls apart is you put so much energy in the discard pile that uh you just kind of lose so i'm going to split the energy the reason i'm going to split the energy is because i don't know what energy i'm going to draw into if any okay we got the energy switch so we have the KO, but again, it's really tough. Okay, let's, uh, we don't need the Ultra Ball, so we just want to draw a card. Okay, Sandy Cheeks, we can, I think we poke a stop because I do want to get down to all my catchers. Okay, well, that, uh, that could have been very, very bad, but we did get there. It's just, if they use Iono, we are very screwed. Um, okay. Do I Ultra Ball away the Iono? If I Ultra Ball away... Because they're going to have the thing in the thing, the Sandy Cheeks. If I get rid of the Switch Cart, I think, I think we go Iono Switch Cart. And then that leaves pretty much just good cards left in the deck. I have Poke Gears, I have Poke Stop. But again, this is very, very sketchy. And I don't like this deck for how sketchy it is. You know, I'm not a Smeargle. I don't like all this sketch. And Fat Cats, Iron Crown doesn't boost itself. If that's the glitch you're talking about, Iron Crown does not boost any Iron Crown. So if you're attacking with Iron Crown, it doesn't do boosted damage. The only way the Iron Crown does boost damage is with an, a future booster attached. And seems it wouldn't be unrealistic to just release the XY cards. True. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind if they did it in stages. You know, give us XY and then give us black and white. That is totally okay. 
you know, I would be totally happy because then it gives us another expanded format. We can do GLC because the current GLC is just missing XY and XY, you know, gives us so many other, you know, basics and stage ones and, and just useful cards because GLC currently is, is not great in PDC GL. You don't even have expanded, expanded friend battles. So you would need expanded friend battles before we can even think about doing that. So it's just, it's just so poorly thought out and designed. And then they're just like, you know what? PDC GL is so bad. We're just going to make a new game. But I will become a, I will do PCP. Don't you worry. I will do PCP, but I will also do PDC GL at the same time. I will be a Pokemon TCG Pocket and Pokemon TCG Live content creator. I mean, I can just see it right now. I spent a hundred dollars on Pokemon TCG Pocket. That is, that is guaranteed a million views. Unless the game fails, in, in which case I just wasted so much money. <laughs> in which case I just wasted so much money. But yeah, Pokemon TCG Pocket's gonna be heavily microtransactioned up. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, you can check it out on the- I did a video on it. Simon, you must have watched the video, Simon. You, you're, you're, how many months of, you're a three month sub, you've watched the video, okay? No, Pokemon Card Pocket, PCP. Uh, Penis Enjoyer, how are you doing? Welcome in, glad you catch the stream. We're just, uh, we're just playing some, we're playing with our Raging Bolt. And we're winning, even though the deck makes me hate myself. But, you know, hating yourself is step one on the journey to loving yourself. But again, you're seeing, you know, the YouTube audience is thinking that this is the greatest deck ever because I'm just destroying everybody. No, you only see the good games. You don't suffer through like the rest of us. Look at this. We have to wait for experience share to resolve before we can even do this. PDC GL doesn't have automatic wins. But yes, Raging Bolt, it can win. It can be good. But it's just, it's so frustrating when it doesn't work and that's like half the time. Okay, they went first, and they have a loot yet. That pretty much means we lose. And Kratox, I don't play Pokemon Sleep because I doubt my phone could run it. Alright, so they are pretty much set up already. Um, do I want the Snorlax in the active? The Snorlax, yeah, I guess I do want the Snorlax in the active. Well, Prime Catcher, I don't want Squawkabilly on the field. So, I think I just go Ultra Ball, get the Squawkabilly, yeah, we'll get the Squawkabilly, and we'll get rid of the Squawkabilly. And then we'll get the... I mean, if they can get a knockout on my Raging Bolt, I think I just have to give it to them. And for the win, there you go, there's for the win. Wait, shouldn't you be asleep? Are you editing, are you in editing hell right now? Are you editing your video? You know, I know you say that you got Carpal Tunnel from editing, but we, we all know it's from all that whacking off you're doing. But for the win, welcome in. Ooh, they're playing. I gotta give them a thumbs up for that one. They're playing the optimal Master Ball art. And I, I love it. I love this art because the, the era, the, the art goes back and forth. And then, like, look at how good this, this is. Like, yes, it's disorientating and my, I go cross-eyed. But it looks really cool, and then it's like, you look at this one, it's like, oh god, what happened? What, what happened? Who hurt you? Why, why do you, why do you hate Pokemon TCG Live? This is like some form of torture right here. So, uh, yeah, help my sister with music today, so it's late at it. Yeah, I'm sorry for the win. You gotta, you're on that late night grind. No, no leaks. No leaks, Craig Jones. You can't leak. Uh, yeah, there's no way they get it. Okay, they have two Archeops. There's still no way they get it. They would have to do so many things to get it. Uh, I'm definitely going to lose, but we can just knock out some Minchino. Oh, Radiant Greninja time, baby. This has to be a Radiant Greninja turn. I have, I have to knock out those Minchino or else we lose the game. There's no ifs, ands, or wow, you got a really nice butts about it. We have to do it. I have to nest ball for Sandy Cheeks. Okay, and then I have 
to go get two waters. All right, so is it, does Irida make any sort of sense? Irida gets me a water. No, I can't use Irida. It has to be research, and I have to just go for it here. But I think I, I Greninja on the other side, because there's such a high chance we get energy. Yes, we Greninja on the other side. We, I do need a switch card, though. Still, you know, still need that the old switch cards, the old switcheroo. All right, and then I go, I just gotta, I gotta burn it down here. I can't, I can't not go. Video Game House with the raid, thank you. We're gonna win this one for you, Video Game House. All we need to do is get a Switch card off of this play and we win. That is it. Switch card off of this and we win. Bro, freaking bro, Video Game House. You're never allowed to leave. You're never allowed to leave. Win. And the sub? Even better. All right, I'm gonna go full, full greed here. I am going full greed. I am going four energy on the Radiant Greninja. If they want, if they think they're getting any Minchinos out this uh, this game, they are sadly mistaken. They are sadly mistaken if they're getting any Sinchinos out this game. You want to win this game? It's gonna have to be with Lugia. That's a greedy fraud. Oh, we're going for it. We are going for it. Video Game House, thank you for the luck. We got that Switch card. Uh, you know, this is uh, Minchino, Sinchino, whatever it's called. Whatever, I can never remember which one's which because there's literally one letter difference. Yeah, you have, they have to knock out my dude. Well, they got it. Okay, well, they, uh, okay, well, things, things aren't great. Things, uh, things went bad. Things went downhill. But they're going to be on odd prizes, and... Uh, video Game House, it's looking pretty good. But, you know, we did knock out two of them, so they're going to have one Minchino. Wait, they went with the Lugia. Why'd they go with the Lugia? The Lugia is terrible right now. You you never want the Lugia to, to be attacking here. Last time I shared, I got y'all that. Hey, share them with your audience, Video Game House. Don't share them with my audience. My audience is ungrateful. Yeah, I don't... I think you take the knockout with Snorlax because you want me to go on odd prizes. And especially if they have to put Luminion down, that's really bad. Like, I won't be able to use Sandy Cheeks. That is obviously not great. I can't use Sandy Cheeks. But if I get an energy, I bosses the Minchino and then they lose the game. So all I need to do is get an energy. Maybe I shouldn't have been greedy, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. Oh no, it needed to be a fighting energy. Oh, it needed to be a fighting energy. Okay, so I I do take the knockout of the Ludia though, which is hilarious. Uh, okay, so we go fighting, doesn't matter. This is hilarious that I'm knocking out a Ludia this early in the game. Or like after after what I just did, the fact that I'm knocking out a Lugia is insane to me. All right, so let's go fighting, fighting. All right, and then we go bellowing thunder. Do you feel the thunder? Lightning and the thunder. Yeah. So now I think as long as the deck doesn't suck a butt, if as long as it's not a raging butt. But we can, we can win this one, okay? They're only going to have one Sinchino. They do not play Super Rod. They're going to have one Sinchino. As long as I can just knock out the Sinchino, we win the game. Because they're not doing nearly enough with Snorlax or Lugia. Their only attackers that do big damage are the Sinchino. So how do you beat Lugia? Well, okay, you know, it, it does have several weaknesses. Weakness number one, it's weak to lightning, so Iron Hands takes three prizes. So you knock out you knock out a Lugia and then two Minchino and it's it's GG. But the other thing is, you knock out two Minchino with Radiant Greninja, the, they, they're only gonna have one Sinchino, because they're not playing Super Rod. If they are playing Super Rod, then they, you know, who hurts you? <laughs> who hurts you? Right, if you're playing Super Rod and Lugia, who hurt you? Because that goes against the entire point of the deck. 
And I don't even need to do anything. And I can still win. Uh, wait, they need they need to put more energy on the Sinchino, right? Because that's 5, and then minus 20, so they need to put one more energy on the Sinchino. 4-3 line? Well, Oswald, don't... If they... If we see another Sinchino, Oswald... No! They didn't know! Oh, no! The, the damage reduction! They don't know! So, they made a huge mistake. They didn't know that double turbo doesn't count. So, with Sinchino, double turbo only counts as one energy, and it's also a minus 20 reduction. So, this is a learning moment for you, Dart. Number one, it only counts as one energy, and then, yeah, you also get the minus 20. So, it only counts as one. You made an oopsie. Alright, so I think we definitely win now, right? So, I'll go lightning, lightning... Don't give me good cards. Okay, well, actually, no, we, we win now, right? Because I go boom, and then boom, and then Ultra Ball. Okay, and then Burst Roar, baby. You know, I could have switched and done all the things, but I do feel kind of bad. Like, they should have taken the knockout, right? They should have taken the knockout. So I do feel a little bad. I won't take a KO. I will advance my board position, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel that bad for them, right? I don't feel that bad for them that I won't, you know, boost my chances of winning the game. But, you know, they would have taken the knockout. They obviously, they obviously had the double, the primal turbo. So it was just a math, instead of a matchmaking error, it was a math making error. And get ready for all the posts on Reddit. Hey, I... All you gotta do, if you see a post on Reddit about someone asking why, hey, why didn't my double turbo activate? Just tell them, you must not be subscribed to Trust Your Pilot, just Trust Your Pilot mentioned that in like two or three different videos. And, oh, they, they definitely had the conceit of shame. I guarantee you there was the conceit of shame, so I'll, uh, I'll cut this game in the YouTube video, I'll do the outro right now. Uh, this might be the final game. But if you learn anything from this, it's that you can fit as many toes in your mouth as you want, as long as you put your heart into it. You know, quote that in the comments and I'll heart it. There you go. You know, you, you can, there's no limit to the amount of toes, ow, that you can fit into your mouth. You just have to believe.